did you order a jury summons for R.J. Finkel? How do you order a jury summons? The fact that I can't tell if Jamie is joking about this or not since he doesn't know Steven's name when he is a mailman is more than a bit concerning. It says it's from Wacky Sack Supply Company. That is perhaps one of the worst possible things you can name your company. Garnet, Amethyst, and Pearl think I shouldn't go on magic adventures because I don't know how to use my gem powers. That seems reasonable. Jamie would be good at cinema sins. But there are other ways I can help. With a wacky sack? And that just makes it worse. The animation in this episode is so much worse than what we've seen so far, and this sequence really brings that point home. Seriously, what the actual fuck? Man, they just can't get Garnet's chest color right, can they? Look, it fits! <laughs> but it actually did fit. So why did it sound like the egg cracked when she shut the door? The compartments on the door don't look anywhere near close to hitting it. I think individually sending all of these weird pieces of animation would just bog the video down. So instead, I'm just gonna show them all off here and add the sins in all at once. I will admit that it does get a lot better in the second half, but the fact that at the start a lot of the drawings just look really off doesn't exactly bode well for what's supposed to be your show's first impression. I'm a gem! Suck it in, Steven! Or he could just take another step back. It wasn't like this a hundred years ago. That's because it wasn't old and abandoned a hundred years ago. There is no way in hell he neither heard nor felt the ground giving way beneath him. You got it, dude! Garnet has two sapphire gems in this shot. Also in this shot, Garnet's middle finger isn't the color it's supposed to be. Also, also, Sapphire's actual gem is upside down in the very next shot. I'd love to know how the physics worked out on that one. Also, when Steven threw the shirts, he wasn't wearing his backpack. But in the one or two seconds it took for the shirts to come back to him, and with one hand, mind you, he somehow got the backpack on. Oh! Oh! He's getting sucked down! Considering the strength of the magic here, the sleeves on those jackets should have ripped as soon as Steven's fat ass jumped off the ledge. Seriously, it pulled a goddamn boulder down. Also, you gotta love that the gems are doing literally nothing to help Steven here. If you have a whip, and you saw that Steven's idea was basically an objectively worse version of the thing you use all the time, why not just use the whip immediately? This is supposed to be a test for Steven, my ass. Considering how important this structure seems to be to at least Pearl, you'd think the gems would put in at least a little more effort. The way that the screen starts scrolling when the gems start walking here looks... weird. It's hard to describe, but it looks like it goes way too fast and doesn't actually match their walking speed at all. Oh, and the water damage. It's floating on top of the ocean. What the fuck else did you expect? You guys, we got a problem! Amethyst lip syncing here is absolutely atrocious. In this scene, a lot of these shrimp are layered on top really poorly. Like these ones close to the middle that look like they've merged into that broken pillar. Or these ones on the tall pillars that don't even move at all. What a great first impression for your TV show. If you go around to the side and disturb them with a spin attack... Or even better, everybody go there and then just continue on. None of them are blocking the stairs from that point. This is literally a non-issue from this angle. How did you know that would work? How did you know your complicated plan was gonna work, you hypocrite? In this shot, Garnet is in front of everyone. But then in the next shot, she just teleports behind them. All right! Now guys, you can see the water, right? What is it doing right now, and how fast is it doing it? And more importantly, why are you egging on this stupid idea? The gems act like they're talking here, but we can't actually hear it. I don't get the point of adding that kind of thing in. Either make it so that we can hear what they're saying, or just don't have them talk. I don't have it. So in other words, the entire point of this episode is to show that Steven is annoying, stupid, incompetent, and can't even do the one simple thing that he said he could do with his backpack. Cruniverse, if you were trying to use this episode as incentive for people to continue watching this show, you did a terrible fucking job. 
Could that work? Mm -hmm. And honestly, the gems aren't much better when they think that a plush toy has any remote chance of working as a substitute. <laughs> What rogue designer at that toy company decided to give the plush a play this scream when it's about to be literally destroyed function? Also, Garnet's entire body is inverted from the colors it should be in this shot. Garnet's lips disappear in this shot. Man, Garnet's just fucked in this episode. Steven's backpack, you know, the thing that the episode is named after, disappears in this shot. This is all my fault. I broke it! The spire was falling apart when we got here. Something that would have been avoided if you didn't entrust the only way to keep it afloat to a 13-year-old child. Two out of four of your ideas worked. That's 50%. In my school system, 50% is a failing grade, so no. Anyone want a wet bagel? <laughs>